Hey guys, I am here at Moon Lake. I'm so excited because I have never been anywhere near here. Um, this is in Utah and it's actually only like a mile and a half from my house. Look, look at the beautiful trees. They're so me. So I came here for October because this lake is haunted. I'm so excited. So there's supposed to be this little girl who um, she looks like she drowned, like she's all wet and she's got blue lips and stuff and she's supposed to come up to you on the beach and ask you for help and then you say yes of course I'll help you child and then she just disappears so I'm very excited um, when it gets a little darker obviously because it's very very bright right now we are going to do a little ghost hunting which I'm so excited about I am in such a good mood So I took my shoes off to play on the beach. It was fun, but now my feet are cold. Okay, so I have been camping for a couple hours. I went for a hike and stuff. And um, it's starting to get dark. My camera is very good at, at uh, making it look a lot lighter than it is because it's actually a lot darker. But I thought we could check out this campground right here because it might be, it's, the haunted campground. Now I've only heard stories about the lake, but maybe we need to look in here too and check this. Caution tape. Did you keep me out, bro? It ain't happening. Uh. This is pretty creepy. There's only caution tape because technically the campground's closed this kind of time of year, but it's fine. It's a cute little building. You can rent these little cabins. Okay, these are the lodges. Somewhere here there's supposed to, there's supposed to be a campground. I know because I passed by it and it had an arrow and it said campground and it was this way, but it was oh no, it was over there. It was over there. I wonder how much of a walk it is. It got cold, so I'm all bundled up now. So I think the campground's a little far up, so I'm gonna go back to the beach. I keep hearing stuff, but I think I'm just on edge. Wow, this one is actually working better than my night vision camera, so that's great. <laughs> So, I am walking along the beach and attempting to meet the little girl. Um, the beach is right here. We're gonna go up just a little more and then do a little bit of EVP. Oh, the stars are starting to come out, honey. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. It is really cold. I am wearing a ski jacket and still freezing. My next investment will be in thermos. I can kind of see where I want to go for this EVP. Oh, you're all fuzzy. Can you be closer? Let's try closer. 
think it's getting too dark for the camera, so it's going fuzzy. But I can't, I think I just can't figure out my night vision camera and I don't have the book with me. I can't remember how to put it in night vision mode and I played with it and can't figure it out. I'm gonna do a little bit with the light on me and then I'll turn it off and we'll be in the dark. I mean, attacked by this here weed. Um, but we're gonna be friends. Okay. Alright. I don't believe in just asking questions. So just so you know, I'm gonna like center myself first and try and get in touch. I, I believe I'm an empath, if you believe in that sort of thing. If you don't, think I'm silly and move on with life, right? But I believe I'm an empath, so I believe I can feel them. Okay. Is there anyone here? Are you alive? Did you die here? Are you a child? What is your name? Well, I didn't really feel a child. I kind of felt something behind me, but it wasn't strong like it could be real. It was more like weak like it could be my imagination because I scare myself easily. Let's try it with the light off. Hello? Am I alone? Is anybody here? Are you a little girl? What's your name? Do you want me to leave? What's my name? Are you happy? Was this your favorite place? I didn't really feel anything that time either. Let's uh, look forward for a little while. Let's look for the little girl. It's weird, I just felt something behind me, but I didn't see or hear anything. It was more like I was just being followed. Weird. Okay. Okay, time for flashlight. It's time for flashlight. That was weird. That was very weird. flashlight. It's flashlight time, guys. I'm, I'm done with no flashlight. It's flashlight time. We're having flashlight time. Okay. I feel better with flashlight time. Stay back. Ghostly little girl. I mean, she's never been accused of hurting anybody. Never once. It's always, it's always that she just, she just wants help. And I know I'm just like freaking myself out 
and everything. It's just, um, it's definitely 100% flashlight time. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the flashlight. The little, I'm sure the little girl doesn't like the flashlight because it's too bright. Um, so I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. I don't know about you guys out there, but we are fine right here. Just me and the little girl. We are fine. And the waves. The waves are fine too. See? Fine. Everything's fine. I need to fix this. There. Now it's fixed. It'll be a little further away now. Flashlight time. It's my favorite time. It's my favorite time. Flashlight time. Okay. Ah. Oh. That was a rock. That was not me getting scared. Okay. All right. Uh, flashlight down there is not as good on the camera. I think it wants to be up here. Okay. Oh, okay. Feel a lot better now that flashlight time is here. Stop moving things behind me. Things behind me keep making noises and, and scaring me. <laughs> and I'm sure it's not a big deal. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Flashlight time is the best time. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Okay. Are you guys like seeing things behind me or something? If you see something behind me, you have to tell me. It's the law. Because I keep like hearing things and feeling things and. I know I'm just freaking myself out. I know that. I know that that is the thing, that it's it's not real. I know it's not real. It's in my head and it's flashlight time, so we're good. Um, I want my car. I want strawberry. Let's climb into strawberry and never come out. Because <laughs> strawberry will keep us safe. Need to remember to lock the doors today. <laughs> oh, man. Nope, nope, whatever is following me, please leave me alone because I'm a little freaked out. A little freaked out. So leave, go away. Go away. It's not, I, I don't feel like it's a little girl. I mean, if you believe my my feelings, it feels more like a dog. <laughs> and I've been haunted by a dog before. And they're not, they're not dangerous or nothing. They just kind of walk beside you or behind you and be there, you know? There's nothing bad about having a little, whoa, okay. So um, the shadow of the camera just scared me because I'm all hyped up. See, these are the things that make me know that none of this is real. See, <laughs> it's all in my head. Whatever you are following me, you're in my head. You ain't real. Mm -mm. Not real. Not real. <laughs> and I'm jabbering because if I'm talking, I can't hear things. Yeah, that's why. If I'm talking, I cannot hear things. All right, eventually, my car will exist. Somewhere up here is Strawberry, and she is safe and warmer. <laughs> Not warm, but warmer. Oh, the stars are very pretty. Okay, there's nothing following me, and the stars are beautiful. So, I'm gonna get back to camp, and I can handle turning the flashlight off. I'll try and show you the stars. Seriously, where is my car? How far did I walk? I was walking until it was dark because it just would not get dark. Stop it, whatever's behind me. Whatever made that noise, stop. Okay, so that didn't even sound like a creature or a person. It sounded like, like you know those cameras that when you turn them off and on, their um, lens gets longer and shorter. 
sounded like that. Like just a Z. Which honestly, if there's somebody out here with the camera, it's far creepier than if there's an animal or a ghost. So I'd rather it be an animal or a ghost. Oh my goodness. I just got scared by a rock. It's a rock. It's a white rock and it's right there. And this rock, stupid white rock. <laughs> These are the things. These are the reasons. I really think that we should be close to my car. Stop it. That's my brain playing tricks on me. That's all it is because as soon as I stop talking, I think there's something behind me. That's me. That proves it's me. I keep seeing my car and then I shine the flashlight and it's not there. And there should be a little like embers left on the fire because I knew I wasn't going to be gone more than 10 or 15 minutes and it would be fine. I, oh look, somebody had a big fire. Can you guys see the big fire? They had like a bonfire out here. That's cool. I've always wanted to go to a bonfire. And I think there was one Monday that I missed. I think I got too stressed over my own existence and did not go. So that's too bad because that's something that's on my bucket list. Well, that's a pretty rock. Okay. We're a little calmer now. We've been walking. So it's a little calmer now. Oh, here's the big diffid, I think. Holy crap. Hello. Okay, I think it's just the deer that we saw earlier. But those, it's my freaking car. I just got scared by my own car. And you guys saw me go, oh, there's the divot. I knew I had to cross this right before my car. I would be able to see my car from this divot. It's like a little, like sometimes it's a river. When um, these, the little campsite up here is being used, it turns into a river. I'm, I'm very glad to be back. I'm gonna make sure the fire is all the way out, cover it with dirt if I need to, and go to bed. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so freaked out. I cannot believe, oh good, the fire's still up a little bit. I'm cold, I wouldn't mind warming up a little. <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> There's no little girl out here. Nope, nope, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I cannot believe I got scared by my car. I said hello to my car to make sure it wasn't somebody up there with a camera. <laughs> yeah. These are the things I do to myself for fun. This is fun. <laughs> okay. I sit by the embers for a moment before kicking dirt over them. And then, oh, the stars. I'll show you guys the stars. And then it's off to bed. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me show you. There's what's left of the fire. You can't even see it, it's so fuzzy. Oh, you can't see the stars. Sorry you can't see the stars, they're quite lovely. I am in my car. I am much warmer and I'll get warmer still. My body will warm up the bag. There is a fly in here that's already driving me nuts. Um, I scared the bejesus out of myself, so that was fun. 
in the morning we will go home and look at the evidence and see what we think but I think at this point mostly it was my imagination <laughs> good night that's that's in the way okay so I caught two things that could be EVPs mostly on my walk it was obviously just my imagination I really psyched myself out so get this afterwards this um, thing happened that I'll talk about in a different video and I decided I was I was not going to sleep in my car I was going to go ahead and come home it's only an hour and a half from my house anyway so um, I was sitting in the front seat getting ready to leave and I'm playing with something over here I actually think it was my camera and yet I did not pull out my camera so it was over here and I was looking down and this is like the front of the car and I heard a huge I heard a huge thump like somebody took both hands and slammed them down on my hood and I looked up like all of a sudden and I saw a white streak like a person ran by my window and I looked and there was nothing there and I was telling that story to my nephew and my brother and they said that there's actually sh kitty I was telling that story to my nephew and my brother and they said that there's supposed to be a lake monster at that lake. So maybe in the summer when it's warm we can go scuba there and look for the monster or something. I don't know. I'm excited though and it is a very beautiful spot. I wouldn't mind going back. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this really weird adventure. I know we don't usually do ghost stuff on this channel, I just did it for Halloween, so she doesn't like being picked up. Anyway, uh, remember to like and subscribe and comment. Have you guys ever seen a ghost? Do you think I'm nuts for believing in ghosts? Write it down below. Bye.